Hello, my name is Chris and today I would like to share with you a quick visualization technique for dealing with physical nicotine cravings when you are quitting smoking. If you've listened to my YouTube channel for any length of time, you may have heard me talk about this technique very briefly in the past. It is a technique that I used to use when the physical nicotine cravings were so intense and so real and so vivid that they were practically paralyzing. Yes, early on in the quit process, we might have these cravings that are a little bit uncomfortable, a little bit unpleasant, that you know, maybe we wanna do something to distract ourselves to get through them. But I found that although I had those, I also, in the early parts of my quit journey, had these really intense, powerful, awful sensations that were so just consumed me to the point that I couldn't think or do anything else. It was like my skin would crawl and my blood would boil and my veins would itch. It was like this overwhelming ang mental anxiety coupled with like this physical reaction where I just wanted to tear my own hair out to scream and go, ah, this is too much. Have you ever had that? where it just seems like it, the, the craving is so intense it consumes you to your core, nothing else seems to work. Hopefully this might work in helping you to sit with that feeling and get through it. I'm not going to tell you that the technique I'm about to do will make your cravings feel more pleasant or even make them go away. It is just a process for being able to sit with that feeling and to reframe that feeling, this is the important part, to reframe that feeling so that it turns into a positive. Yes, it might still feel physically discomforting, but the actual discomfort itself we process as a positive thing and it helps us to get through it and to sit with it without wanting to change it by relying on external things which I also found important because if I just, you know, for the longest time I would smoke to change the way that I felt, if when I start feeling bad because I'm quitting smoking, I then reach for food or alcohol or whatever it is to, to change the way that I feel, that I'm not actually giving myself the opportunity to grow. I'm not actually giving myself the opportunity to use this experience to become completely free. I might free myself from nicotine addiction eventually, but I'm still shackled to that pattern of relying on external things to change the way I feel. So this technique helps me to break free from that. It helps me to reframe nicotine cravings into a positive experience and just sit with them. What I would do, I would call this process the purge. It has nothing to do with the movies, everything to do with how I would visualize the, the, the feelings that I was having as being part of a process where my body was purging itself, where my body was cleansing itself of all the toxic gunk and poison and garbage and tar that I put into it when I was a smoker. And I would tell myself that all this stuff was rising out of me, it was leaving me, I was becoming cleansed and healed. And I said to myself, look, if, I, if something was physically leaving my body like that, then yeah, it probably would make me feel uncomfortable, but it would be a worthwhile process. Kind of like going to the dentist in a little bit. Going to the dentist isn't always comfortable, but it's always worth it to feel better, right? especially if we've got bad teeth. So, so this is the technique I'm going to share with you. It's called the purge. It only takes a few minutes. I'll share with you each step of the process so that you can try it if you want to the next time you're just so consumed by a craving. If it doesn't work, that is fine too. There are so many other things 
that you can do. The first step for me in practicing the purge was to quite literally just close my eyes. This is a visualization technique, so I always find that I can visualize better when my eyes are closed. It helps me to, to, you know, to see my own thoughts a little better. So close my eyes and then just take two slow, deep breaths. You might want to just do in and out breath. You might want to do a breathing exercise like in for four, hold for four, out for four. Already just breathing in and breathing out slows everything down. Everything is much calmer, think clearly. I'm in a calmer space so I'm not totally consumed by this intense feeling going through me. It's still there but I'm not consumed by it because I'm in a different space. Just keep that slow, deep breath going throughout this exercise. Next, and you would think, you know, pay attention to my body. I want you, if you're doing this technique, I want you to pay attention to your body. Think about where the craving feels most intense. Quite often, I would feel all the tension in my fingers, and in my toes, and my muscles here and here. You might feel all the tension in your chest or in your legs. Pay attention to where that tension is. Now you visualize that these tension points are where all of the tar, and all of the poison, all of the toxicity that is in your body, that entered your body because you smoked, all of that negative physical stuff is flooding its way through your body, it's traveling through your veins, that's why your veins are itchy because it's traveling through those veins and it's gathering at these tension points. If your whole body feels uncomfortable it's because all of that negative stuff is draining out of you and it is all gathering in these tension points, your fingers and your toes and your chest. And you hold it there now you have all of this, all of this gunk that you've put into your body, it's all of these, these, these spots, these places within your body. You take a deep breath, you allow all that toxicity to start flowing out of you. It pushes up out through the skin and yes it's uncomfortable there is no getting away from this uncomfortable feeling but it's worth sitting with this uncomfortable feeling because look what is happening all of the crap that you put into your body is finally leaving you and it will never return as you go through this process you are being cleansed you are being healed you are being purged up all the toxic stuff that was in your body. You might see it as a liquid that pours out of you. I used to see it as like a vapor. Like all the toxic stuff would become vapor that would shoot out of my fingers, out of my toes, and it would just evaporate into the air. You might see it as something physical that gets pulled if you want to you can imagine yourself pulling it out of your body and just discarding it and again it evaporates it dissolves into the atmosphere so that it can never return when you're absolutely certain that the last of that toxicity has left you just take a few moments come back down Let all that 
tension go, just let your body loosen and breathe. Breathe in deep. And as you breathe in, now that you've got rid of all the toxic stuff in your body, you can breathe in healing energy, you can breathe in health and happiness and light. Just breathe in and send it down into those extremities, send it down into those tension spots. And just relax, calm. Just feel relaxed and calm. Breathe all that health and all that energy in. And send it to those parts of you that were previously tense, but which no longer are. I appreciate that might seem a little strange if I hadn't done that technique so many times and if it hadn't worked for me I would have felt a little bit silly showing you like Look, I just need to relax and breathe but it really genuinely worked because it just it reframed the whole thing it still felt uncomfortable but I could relax into it even just breathing and just imagining you know, my body going through a transformation, a healing process, I found helpful. And if you think that's crazy, if you don't think it's going to work for you, that is fine. But this really genuinely helped me, you know, so many times when I quit smoking that I wanted to share with you so that you would have it if you wanted it. You can read more about the purge and about other techniques that I used in my new book called Quit Smoking and Be Happy. Chris, I don't think you've ever mentioned this book before. No, you haven't. This is the first time ever. <laughs> I'm only joking. As I said in last week's video, it is available for pre-order now via Amazon. It will soon be available via Google Play, via iTunes and in print format by the end of next month. The links are down below if you want to get that book. Now, if you pre-order it before the release date on November 8th, you will get it at a much cheaper price than you will if you get it afterwards. That's my sales pitch out of the way. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you are doing well on your journey. Please let me know how you are getting on in the comments below. It is getting harder and harder for me to reply to everyone, but please know that I am always with you, at least in spirit and you know, in some sense, I am holding your hand. We will get through this together. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for sticking with me. I will see you next time. Goodbye.